Mr. Creepy, don't fall into the wishing well. Listen to my stories from hell. Ghosts in the afterlife. The werewolf who chomped his wife. A headless dentist on an ATV. The chicken corpse haunting KFC. Ever seen a vampire on a plane? A zombie slurping brains? While you're in your bedroom smoking in dough. Didn't you notice the ghoul at your window? Sit back and relax your bones. Get onto your laptops or your phones. The YouTube address FYI is Mr. Creepy's time to die. <laughs> Bad evening. Tonight's story is about a group of friends who did some exploring in Southeast Asia, which led them to a little cliffhanger. <laughs> The next day, after not being able to get a hold of their friend, Bo and Kai decided to check up on Nur. But upon arriving at his home, they were both alarmed to see his front door broken into. Inside, they were horrified to see a large symbol drawn on the wall. Not only did it look like it was written in blood, but something about it looked familiar as well. To add to the already unnerving situation, there was also no sign of Noor anywhere. That's the symbol that was on the statue! Bo yelled out, his voice shaking. It's true! We're cursed! Keep your voice down! Kai angrily shouted back, and stop being foolish! We should have never desecrated the statue! Bo cried out, now we're all doomed! Bo ran out of the house in a hurry. Kai followed, trying to calm him down. There's no such thing as curses, Kai told Bo. Something is messing with us. We need to stick together. Return the statue's head. Maybe that'll save us. Bo pleaded, I'm not returning anything. Kai responded defiantly, I'm going to stop whoever is doing this. Then I'm not sticking around, Bo exclaimed. We're going to die if we stay here. Kai tried to stop his friend, but it was no use. He could only watch as Bo ran away. Later in the day, after gathering some of his belongings, Bo made his way on the road out of town. Not more than half an hour into his trek, Bo found himself having to navigate through a thick fog that had just rolled in. He had hoped to maybe hitchhike along the way, but the weather had made the sleepy road even more inactive than it already was. Regardless, nothing had changed in Bo's mind from getting as far away from town as possible. As the road cut into the jungle, Bo noticed something up ahead. For the first time in a while, Bo spotted what looked to be another person. The fog was obscuring his view, preventing him from making out who it was. The more he walked, however, the clearer the figure in front of him became. Something about the way the person moved seemed a bit strange to Bo, but it wasn't until some of the fog started to dissipate that Bo had a terrifying realization. The figure in front of him was headless. Bo dropped all of his belongings as he stopped dead in his tracks. He wanted to scream, but he was too overcome with fear to do so. All Bo could do was stare at the unfathomable sight in front of him. The figure then began to raise its arms from its side, revealing six of them. Bo screamed as he turned and proceeded to run, but before he was able to manage getting a few steps, a knife made out of stone flew through the air and sank deep into his back. Bo instantly fell to the ground before everything went black. Back in town as night fell, 
Kai was in his house, drinking, trying to take the edge off. He'd been close to passing out that hour, and just when it looked like he was about to do so, a noise outside grabbed his attention. It sounded as if a large swarm of flies had gathered outside his door. Annoyed, Kai went back, swinging the door wide open. To his horror, he was met with a gruesome sight. Placed on top of a large rock, a bloody section of sliced skin. Upon closer inspection, however, a chill ran up Kai's spine when he noticed that the patch of birthmarks on the skin closely resembled the ones on Bo's upper back and shoulders. Making matters worse, the large rock that it was perched on looked to be the same one he had dropped on the statue that night. A wave of terror engulfed Kai. For the first time, he began to believe that there really was a curse. He quickly made his way outside towards a large tree near his home. Under one of its large branches, Kyle began to furiously dig with his bare hands. After excavating a couple feet of dirt, he finally felt something solid. Kai desperately cleared more dirt away until he eventually unearthed part of the statue's head. As he found himself staring down at the statue's face, the unthinkable happened. Its eyes suddenly opened to stare right back at Kai, followed by a sinister grin. Just as Kai was about to scream his lungs out, a noose quickly wrapped around his neck before it was forcefully pulled straight up into the air. He vigorously struggled to break free, but it was no use. The rope had been tied down, and the branch above him was too sturdy to break. Kai squirmed as the rope around his neck continued to squeeze the life out of him. However, it was right at that moment an ungodly sight appeared in front of him, the headless figure of the statue. Even though it was made of stone, it stood before Kai like a living creature. Every fiber of Kai's being was filled with horror. He would have screamed if he could, but the noose was tight and even more so around his neck. Unfortunately for Kai, before dying by way of hanging, the statue fiercely thrust one of its knives into his belly. The blade slowly tore across Kai's soft flesh, disemboweling him. Kai watched as his insides spilled out on the ground below. The next day, after some townsfolk came across the grisly sight at Kai's place, the authorities were informed of a spot in the mountains where the group of friends had been known to hang out. As a result, a small number of police officers decided to make their way up the pass, but nothing would prepare them for what they would see upon arriving at the location. There, being held up by the vines and roots in a dirt wall, a display of a six-armed figure. But instead of a stone statue, this grotesque figure was put together using the various severed limbs and body parts of the missing group of friends. Human skulls hung from a necklace made out of intestines. And located on the very top of the macabre structure, Kai's head staring back with a frozen expression of horror. Mr. Creepy here. Friends, we don't care what you thought of tonight's horror story. If you don't stab the like button and slash the subscribe bell, this will happen to you. No, no.